I'm Javeda Bay, aka Crop Top Queen, and this is The Honest Millennial. So today we're going to talk about the fun stuff we're all dealing with, the unpreparedness of the real world. Because graduating from college, I didn't learn anything that you're supposed to know as an adult. I learned everything that you only know as a college kid and just translate very well to adulthood. Take for example, how to navigate a hangover. Now that I'm a working girl who still likes to party, you have to know these things. And I know that because of college. I knew how to go out, pound them drinks, and wake up for an 8 a.m. class. And now I do that for work, and it's wonderful. The only reason I learned how to do that is because of four things. First one, Pedialyte. It is a godsend. Drink it after you finish drinking for the night, but before you go to sleep, you wake up, you're revitalized, and you're like, I could drink again. But you have work, so don't do that. Second thing, McDonald's. I usually order four, a 10-piece nugget and a large fry. You wake up the next morning and you're not hungry because you ate all that food, and you're like, yes, McDonald's, you saved my life. Third thing is by getting some sleep. Don't try and like stay up and like work out the hangover. No, sleep. It, even if it's like for four hours, get some sleep. That way you look a little bit rested and it'll be great. And then the last thing is waking up and telling yourself you're not hungover. Your body will believe it and everyone at work will believe it. Trust me. But what college didn't teach me is how to make a budget. Literally, they didn't teach me that. This is my budget. $8.50 for rent. 100 for groceries, 200 for Charlotte Bruce, because where else would I get my crop tops? That's what I learned in a, that, like, college. You're supposed to teach me how to manage money as an adult, but you didn't, and I spend it all on alcohol. Yay! <laughs> okay, so the next thing I learned in college is how to stalk for a parking spot, which is very important because you need that now. I knew to look for, and I stalked them like a prey. They are a gazelle. I am a lion. But, so the things I do, you have to look for someone in a hurry. People that are moving quickly to their cars, they're leaving, you watch them. People that have bags, backpacks, or children, they're going, they are getting that crime baby out of here, they're getting their bags in the car, and they're leaving, watch them. And then pay attention to the directions that people are going. If you see them walking towards the elevator, they're not going to their car, unless they lost their car, but that's highly unlikely. People are going down the stairs, do not follow them down the levels. They're leaving, follow people coming out of the stairs. They're going to their car, they're getting out of there. But all this doesn't matter in LA unless it's, unless you're not a parallel park. If you can't parallel park, you're not finding a free spot. All free parking is street parking. Unless you wanna pay $22 for a parking spot and a parking lot, you got a parallel park in LA. So if you can't do it, how'd you get a license, first of all? Second of all, learn today, okay? Okay. What I didn't learn, um, insurance. I was taught nothing on insurance. My mother's not even a good source for this. Like, I don't understand anything about it. What the heck is a deductible? Why do I need it? Why is it $1,000? What's happening that you want me to pay $1,000 that you're supposed to cover? Come on, insurance. Like, you're supposed to handle any damages that happen in my car because I'm young and driving. Not me. And what's a deductible with glass? What is that? College didn't teach me this. My mother didn't teach me this. No one's teaching me this. How do adults do this? I don't understand. Anyways, that's, you know, that's that. Something else I learned in college, aggressive, passive aggressiveness. I know you're probably like, Javay, what the heck is that? Well, being in a sorority, you had to tell people things and they were a little sensitive, so you had to do it nicely, but aggressively. So I had a roommate and sometimes the room would get a little messy and I'd be like, Hey, so you know our friends are coming this weekend? Well, maybe we should like clean up the room since it's homecoming. Make it look a little nice for the visitors. So that can translate to the workplace and I do it in emails. So I'll just be like, hey everyone, smiley face. Um, since I'm in charge of making sure the kitchen stays clean, I just wanted to run by a few rules with everyone just because it's a communal space and we all have to do our due diligence of keeping it clean. So I'll be like, one, um, if you could just make sure to recycle, separate plastic, cardboard, all that in the recycling bin and garbage in the garbage can, that'd be great because we need to love Mother Nature because she loves us. Also, not my job to go in the trash can and do it for you. So remember to recycle. Number two, please remember to wash your dirty dishes. Your mother isn't here to clean up after you and you don't pay for an in office maid. So you need to wash your six week old coffee mugs that you don't rinse out by yourself 
after you come into the kitchen and dump it out. Thank you. Thirdly, if you choose for some reason to dump your lunch at the end of the day in the garbage disposal, run the garbage disposal. I don't want to smell your garlicky fish. No one else in the office wants to smell your garlicky fish. And once again, not my job to do it for you. So please remember it's a communal space and to clean it. Thanks so much. Enjoy this gift of you cleaning dishes. Have a great day. XOXO, Javeda Bay. And that's what you send. I didn't learn anything about how to actually do my job. And I told you guys, I'm in the entertainment industry. I learned how to use a camera. I learned a smidge of editing. What about all the other stuff of the entertainment industry? Like contracts or meeting people in the industry. None of that. No one was like, oh my gosh, hang out at this bar in LA. You'll meet all the producers. Hang out here. You'll meet blah, blah, blah. No one tells you that. You just kind of have to figure it out. And you're like, I don't know how to do any of this. I don't know how to be an adult. I just want to go back to college. So if anyone wants to pay tuition for me to go back, I will gladly accept the checks. Thanks. So that was my take on being unprepared for adulthood. Hope you understand too. Make sure you subscribe. I got 26 right now. You could be lucky number 27. Come back next week for more of the Honest Millennial.